and <laughs> shares of Chinese EV maker NIO. They are moving lower here today by about 4% this morning after the company denied a report published Tuesday by short seller Grizzly Research, claiming that the company is exaggerating revenue and profit margins. NIO responded to the report by saying it is without merit and contains numerous errors, unsupported speculations, and misleading calculations and interpretations regarding information relating to the company here. Th this one got you cracking <laughs> I'm, up. I'm still digging to this because, I, I, you know, look, as a former analyst, this is great brand branding. Of course, if you are Grizzly Research, you're not coming out probably with a bullish report. But look, there's a very extensive <laughs> research uh, not unlike research we've seen from other short sellers, let's say a Carson Block, uh, et cetera. Uh, I'm still diving to this, uh, but again, it, it, uh, it bears watching moving forward. Yeah, the rejection, uh, you know, Neo's pushback against this doesn't seem to, we'll see how these things play out. Usually it takes a while kind of for the back and forth well, to still, continue. There's a general distrust still in some of these Chinese focused companies. Well, and some just, of the execs too. Look at Luckin Brands. Right. Uh, that was a real disaster story a couple years ago. That's exactly what was pulled into this report too. Neo's chairman and CEO, Ben Lee, closely tied to Joy Capital um, and party central to Luckin Coffee Fraud is what they, well, is what it was. Um, being hailed as the Elon Musk of China, Lee's past ventures have seen their stocks collapse and been taken private at a fraction of their peak valuations. Also brought up in this grizzly, grizzly research. research.